first ever anti-caste discrimin discrimination law introduced in America. On January 24th, District 3 City Council member Kasama Sawant submitted a draft ordinance proposing a law against council caste discrimination to the City Council of Seattle, Washington. If approved, this would be the first anti-caste discrimination law in the United States. So Watt wants to add caste discrimination to the list of prejudice, prejudices outlawed in workplaces in Seattle, which already include gender, age, race, and sexual orientation. So Watt stated at a news conference, quote, we know that caste discrimination has been growing in the United States across many industries, including technology, construction, restaurants, and the service industry and in domestic work. Caste discrimination is increasingly uh, an increasingly grave contributor to workplace discrimination and bias. So Wont added that the area's elected officials have a duty to address caste discrimination and not let it be invisible in the eyes of the local populace. Several other South, Asia, South Asian organizations, including the Ambedkar Association of North America, Ambedkar International Center, and the Ambedkar King Study Circle helped Sawant to draft the ordinance. Now, I have this, well, this is, this is gonna be maybe a little bit spicy because I don't think I'm gonna have the opinion on this that most people are thinking. Now, Armin. Uh-oh. Hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> I am a born and raised Seattle light. This is happening in my city. And to be clear, if this is passed, this would be a law that would only be applicable within the city of Seattle. Only in the city of Seattle. Now, I, tell me if my thinking is wrong. I am, I don't know how to feel about this. Wait, your audio got cut again because your okay. crappy Wi-Fi in your hotel. Can you repeat your question again? Okay. I don't know how I feel about this because I hate this city council member so much. Oh, uh her? -huh. Like, I passionately dislike this specific politician because of all of the other BS she has pulled in Seattle. So mm -hmm, I don't mm -hmm. know how to feel about this because well, I don't like her. And okay. <laughs> she, Armin, yeah. she is a, pardon the expression, but this is just how I feel about it. This woman is like a psycho socialist. The best okay. news that I heard when I was researching this news is that she announced that this will be her last ever term as a Seattle City Council member. I was like, thank God she's on the way out. So, <laughs> because I don't like her, I don't like her agendas. I don't like her. But this her action is good. Things. Do you think this action is good? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm losing my mind. Um, <laughs> I'm like asking you, but this one action of her is good, and you're like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I mean, I don't know what else she has done that you don't like, but can we look at this one action by her in isolation and say that this is good? Okay, I did not read the language of the ordinance itself. This is just proposed. Okay, this still has to go through an entire process to get improved by the Seattle and the entire city council. I don't know if it will be. Um, <laughs> I'll read that comment in a second. Um, and so, yeah, to be, to be honest, I did not actually read the language of this proposed ordinance. So I don't know if it might there's be some stuff in there that I wouldn't be into. Because they can sneak some things in there. In and general, I, feel like I think this some socialism into this separate the consequences of this from the individual. The individual is her own judgment. This yes. action itself is going to bring attention to um, anti caste discrimination. So, this by itself is a positive. The fact that more people are going to be aware of how significant anti caste discrimination is. By the way, guys, for people who think that we are anti-India for bringing attention to anti-caste discrimination, okay? 
So we, I, may I remind you that casteism is an Indian thing, but anti-casteism. South Asian. South Asian. Okay. It's a South Asian thing. Sure. But so is anti-casteism. So, sorry. Yes. Yeah, so anti, no, sorry. The fight against anti-caste discrimination. That's what I should say. That is also an East Asian thing, South Asian thing. As in what I'm, as you see in the picture on the screen, okay. I'm, you, you don't get more Indian than Dr. Ambedkar. And Facts. Dr. Ambedkar was, yeah, the, when I think India, I don't think caste discrimination. I think Dr. Ambedkar. And Dr. Ambedkar. That's hot. <laughs> is, <laughs> Dr. Ambedkar is as anti caste discrimination as you can get. So, mm -hmm. so bringing attention to these issues in India, that's not anti India. It's, you know, because we also get Dr. Mm -hmm. from India. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> no man from in no man who's in India is saying I am anti India. <laughs> and then young atheist who's in Pakistan is I am anti Pakistan. <laughs> oh, oh, guys, don't do that. No, no, no. no <laughs> but I mean, I think what they mean is they're anti nationalist. They're both very anti-nationalist. You're anti-nationalist. Anti no, no, I'm, I'm not. Nationalism depends on, it depends on your definition by nationalism. If, it, if by nationalism you mean that you believe in the utility of the nation states and the integrity of the borders, then I believe in nationalism. If by nationalism you mean that you believe in the superiority of the people of a nation relative to other people, then I'm not a nationalist. It depends on your definition of nationalism, right? But India again. See, Katie, Katie has a good point. Saying that's the father of the Indian constitutions on, on the on the cover. How do you get more Indian? Yes, again, for people who say I hate India, this is you know how can you not be happy that this is the father of your constitution, Dr. Ambedkar? This is this is this should be a source of admiration and everything. Um, so okay. when it comes to the yeah. general conversation about solidifying policies that it says it is illegal or against maybe a university's policies to discriminate against someone on the basis of caste on its face i'm fully behind it however i have to say that i still have a lot of questions remaining about how that would be implemented in real life the language of that is really important and we have to be honest in the, that's not very necessarily the word I want to use. People have genuine concerns that an anti-caste discrimination policy would basically submit South Asian people for an extra level of scrutiny that other that wouldn't apply to other groups. And I think that could be a genuine concern. And um, I still have questions about how that, that would be sounds more people. like Christians feeling that they're being discriminated against because of, um, you know, fighting discrimination against LGBT, for example. Like if Christians, if Christians come and say, like, I mean, that's a self-report, isn't it? Like if if you are, <laughs> it could be, if, but not necessarily. It's a self-report because if you are Christian and we have anti. Um, LGBT discrimination laws and we're like, hey, I feel personally attacked. I like, well, that says something about you now, doesn't it? <laughs> right. So again, I think like if you have anti uh, laws that is fighting a caste anti caste discrimination, and you're like, well, I think you're targeting the Hindu community. I'm like, well, that says something you know, maybe a little bit of something about the Hindu community, if you feel like you're being personally targeted with this law. No, it's, it's in, it's in the fact that when we're talking about caste per se, there are caste systems that exist around the world. Let's be clear. But yeah. when we say caste in general, we're referring to the kind that originates out of South Asia. So when institutions or a city is making a law talking about preventing a certain kind of discrimination. They have to define what that means, and they are defining that it originates from a specific part of the global community. And therefore, other people that come from that specific part of the global community 
are going to be the ones that are examined for the specific for exhibiting the specific kind of discrimination versus a European it is mostly isn't going to be this would be very unusual for them to get like a accusation of caste discrimination so what, I have enough. friends who are let me finish I have friends that are atheist republic members who have said I hate caste it's a horrible part of the community that I came from but I have questions about will they be scrutinized more than other people because they come from a South Asian community I think that's a that's a fair question and, and I'm that doesn't mean let me finish that I'm going to throw the baby out with the bathwater, right? I still think that overall, this is probably a good thing worth pursuing, but I believe that that is a genuine question that needs to be considered carefully. I think that's a fair position. Yeah, I mean, I think that it's just, it's fair to be kind of weirded out by me going out and asking Indian people, Indian person, if they are a white supremacist, okay? So that would be like, what are you talking about? Okay. So in the same way, it would be weird if I go ask, you know, a Swedish person, if they are anti dalit you know, if they have something against Dalit. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, this is stats, this is reality. I don't know what to do. But that, that's what's different. The, the laws or policies that we have on the books do not use the word like supremacist, like Aryan supremacy. It's like not that they're again, it's, it's about race in general, which is broad and generalized and globalized to all peoples. So that a racism towards one person, it's not singular. It could be going both ways, da, da, da. Whereas the cast is very specific for, <laughs> <laughs> the cast is very specific towards one community. It's a difficult question. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the answer is, but I don't know. I like yeah. to you know think about these things more com in a more complex way. But that comment I want from to, Prometheus. I want to acknowledge as much as me and Susanna get accused for being anti-Indian, most of the anti-Indian sent you know sentiments here on Atheist Republic comes from Indians in our live chats. <laughs> okay, so it's not it's not me and Susie. Um, Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.